Hey everyone, Jan here, codingwithjan.com. Clothing and fashion stores have the highest return rates across all e-commerce categories. And the more you can help your customers make an informed decision, the better for the brand because fewer items will be returned. Now one very simple but also very effective solution here is to implement size charts on all the product pages. So that's exactly what we are going over today. Really hope you have fun watching and let us know what you want to see next. Let's go. Hey everyone. If you're selling clothing products, you'll need a size chart on your product page to reduce the number of returns you receive from your customers. Today, I'm going to show you how to implement a size chart into your Shopify store. I'll show you two variations. If you'd like a collapsible row like this one, where you can see a table and an image, or a pop-up like this, where you can either display a table or an image. And the best part is we can do this without writing any code. So let's get started. So before we start making any customizations, let's duplicate our theme so we can make our edits. Let's click on the ellipsis button and click duplicate. And now that our theme is finished duplicating, we can click customize. And let's navigate to our product page. In my case, I want to add the size chart to this men's t-shirt and later I'll add a size chart to the women's shirt. You can also click on the drop down menu and select products and click default product for quicker access. All right, so the section we're interested in is product information. And if you can't see these block elements here, you can click on the arrow to expand the section. So we're going to add a block. And we're going to add a collapsible row. And you can see it's been added to the bottom of our product information. Let's click and drag our collapsible row and place it under buy buttons. And let's rename our heading size chart. You can also choose an icon for this collapsible row. I'm going to go ahead and choose the ruler, but you can choose what you feel is best. For the content, we have two options. Our first option is row content, which is text-based. We're going to use our second option, which is row content from page, since we will be displaying either a table or an image. So let's create our size chart page. Let's go ahead and click Save. And let's go back to the admin panel. And on the left, let's click on Pages. Notice here, I've already created two different size charts, one for men's and one for women's. If you have different size charts for your product, you need to create a page for each size chart. So on the top right, click on Add Page. For the title, I will call mine Size Chart, but you can name yours according to the size chart you'd like to display. For the content, we can click on the table icon here and click insert table. And we can build our own size chart. We can click on the table icon again to either add columns or rows. In my case, I've already built one, so I'm just going to paste mine in. When making your table, make sure to add a space above and below so it will display properly. If your size chart is an image, we can go ahead and click on the image icon to insert an image. Click upload file to add your image. In this case, I've already uploaded mine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the image I want. Okay, for the size, we're gonna choose the 600 pixels, which will be enough to display our image properly and click Insert Image. Click Save, and let's go back to the customizer. Here we have Select Page. Let's click on it. I named my page size chart, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and click Select. Click on Save, and let's take a look at our size chart by clicking the collapsible row. As you can see, we have our size chart and our table displayed. 
If you only have one size chart for your products, you can by all means stop here. But if you have different size charts for various products, we can assign which size chart is displayed, and we can do that by using meta fields. If this is your first time hearing about meta fields, you can check out Jan's video where he does an extensive overview of how to use custom fields. In short, meta fields enable you to customize the functionality and appearance of your Shopify store by letting you save specialized information that isn't usually captured in the Shopify admin. You can use meta fields for internal tracking or to display specialized information on your online store in a variety of ways, like our size chart. So let's create our size chart meta field by going back to the admin dashboard. On the bottom left, click on settings, click on meta fields, click on products, and let's add our first definition. And for the name, let's call it size chart. We're gonna go ahead and click select content type. We're gonna scroll down till we see reference and we're gonna reference a page. Let's go ahead and click save. And now that we have added our definition, we need to fill its value. So let's close our settings. So let's click product. And in my case, my product is this men's t-shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And I'm gonna scroll all the way down until I can see my meta fields. So here you can see we have our size chart. I'm gonna click this field right here. We're gonna click select a page. And we're gonna choose our men's size chart. Click save. And let's go back to our customizer. So for our row content from page, instead of referencing a page, we want to add a dynamic source. So let's click change and click connect dynamic source, which is our meta field. Here we can see our size chart. So let's go ahead and click on that. So now our collapsible size chart is going to work exactly the same, but now we have the ability to control which size chart is displayed for this product. So let's look at our women's and do the same. So let's go back to our products. We can scroll all the way down to our meta fields. Here we have our size chart. We'll click the empty field, select page, and here we can choose our women's size chart. Click save. And let's go back to our customizer. And let's take a look at our size chart. So as you can see, we dynamically changed it. And now we have our women's straight fit t-shirt size chart. We can also have our size chart as a pop-up instead of a collapsible row. And we can do that by clicking on add block under the product information and click pop-up. And as you can see here, we have our pop-up link text. So let's change the link label to size chart. And then we're going to connect our page through the dynamic source. We can go ahead and click size chart again. Click save. And let's take a look at our pop-up. And as you can see here, we have our women's straight fit t-shirt size chart. And adding our collapsible row and pop-up aren't just limited to size charts. You can display product specifications, energy consumption, etc. And to top it all off, it's mobile responsive. So we can click on the mobile view. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more about meta fields, there's a link in the description for Yun's extensive overview on custom fields. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, please feel free to leave a comment. See you in the next one. Bye.